and you're back with Third Degree. Tonight we focus on Damlin Brits, where nearly a year after completing their studies, students still had no certificate to show for it. Then this group of students was dealt another blow. Elisa finished her course in December 2011. Two months later, she still didn't have a certificate. So she turned to the Department of Higher Education. They intervened. She was called by the owner of the Damlin Brits franchise, Estelle van Furen. She said to me, I'll give you a certificate after three weeks. Three weeks later, still nothing. So she contacted Damlin head office in Durban. I spoke to a lady called Deneka Play. When I spoke to her, she said to me she will investigate the issue. It was in May when I started calling her. She said she'll investigate the issue. Up until now, she's been investigating it. No word from Damlin. Her frustration growing, she tried to lay charges. When I got to the police station, they said to me, um, I cannot open a case, but I can go to the small claims court. And that's what she did. They gave us a letter to give to Estelle. We took the letter, we gave it to Estelle, and she accepted the letter and everything. Then the situation got even more complicated. Estelle, the owner, went to ground. She stopped taking calls. Before June is when Estelle left and she told us not to worry. She wants to be away for a while and she's putting Susie in charge. That's when she disappeared. The owner gone and still no certificates. Elisa went back to investigate. When we got there, Estelle was no longer there. Susan said to me, she's not here and we are in a financial crisis. The Damelin account is bankrupt and everything. Elisa was also told there was a new owner. To confirm this, she called head office Durban. She said to me, I don't know anything about a new buyer. All I can tell you is that I don't know a new buyer in Damelin Brett, but, um, but I know Estelle and Estelle has always been the principal in Damelin. Conflicting answers, dead ends. In desperation, Elisa contacted Third Degree. To sort out the confusion around the ownership, we phoned Damlin Brits and asked for Estelle. Damlin Brits, good afternoon. Okay, the owner's name is? Estelle's not there. They tell us to call the new owner. We call. He refers us to Damlin head office. A couple of phone calls and emails later, we reach the head of communications. She promises to respond as soon as possible. True to her word, an email arrives four days later, promising that the students will get their certificates within 48 hours. But shockingly, we're told that the courses are unaccredited. And they say the students should have been made aware of this when they registered. They should have, in fact, signed the FET fact sheet of acknowledgement. Unaware of this bad news and after waiting almost a year, the students received this SMS in September. Dear students, your certificates are available. Regards, Damlin Brits. They're relieved until we tell them about the non-accreditation and the FET fact sheet. They're stunned. None of them has ever seen it before. Angry, they head to the Damlin Brits office. It soon turns into a heated confrontation. You rude! You don't speak in Afrikaans. The owners like disappeared, with, with so it's left to the head of finance to face the angry students. It was good when you took our monies. Now you're locked behind a class, you're sitting that side. They are told once again to deal with head office. I am not communicating with head office. I paid here. I didn't pay Devon. I paid here. I didn't pay Devon. Don't tell me about Devon because Devon told me to come here. You don't come here and tell me about Devon. Why is it so hard to, for them to give us this thing? I'm asking for this, Ronel. This. Then I'm going to leave you alone. If you just give me this that says Elisa Sekhai, let's sign this. Then I'll take my certificate and leave. Give me this. This is just a piece of paper. They feel duped. The certificate is meaningless. They no longer want it. 
They want proof that they signed the FET fact sheet. The situation gets so out of hand that management calls security. The thing is, you know it's painful if someone thinks that you are a fool and you are not a fool. For a mere fact that I, she might be working in Damelin doesn't mean that she's illiterate than I am. They have taken our monies. I've paid 8,400 rands, mm -hmm. but at the bank, I've paid close to 11,000 rand. It was a loan. Okay. And I'm the only breadwinner. When I come here for answers, I don't get my answers. Once again, they're told to deal with head office. And so we call, but everyone's in meetings. No one can talk to us. Can you hear me? Yeah, from third degree. But a few days later, head office sends us an email. It's more bad news. Damlin Brits is to be liquidated. The students are aghast. Where will they go to get their money back? They're angry, confused, so many unanswered questions. Were they deliberately misled into handing over 7,000 Rand or more for a worthless course? What happened to the money that's allegedly disappeared from the Damlin Brits account? And as for the missing owner, what is her role in all of this? Coming up, we put Damlin in the hot seat.